had the privilege of having Boeing come out to our school and work with our fifth and sixth graders. They sent several volunteers and they discussed different STEM activities with them. Um, it gave the students a, um, an opportunity to learn more about the community, um, about airplanes. We had several students who didn't know what a 747 was or even what Boeing was. So we've had two volunteers here from Boeing um, and they introduced, they had a slideshow, talked about the different kinds of aircrafts, um, what they do um, themselves with the company and then they introduced um, how to make a wing and so they've been walking around, talking with the students, really interacting hands-on with them and then they kind of stepped back and let the kids build and then they keep facilitating their discussions and their activities and it's been great. My name is Josh Carlson. I work as a manufacturing engineer at the Boeing Company. So we're working with the kids to go through a kind of a design and build process. So they figure out what, what needs to happen and they figure out how to do that and try a bunch of different ways and fail and, and keep trying and go through that design cycle and figure out what works, what doesn't. So it's more of a learning process for them to see how things are built. And we're using a, an example of an aircraft wing to do that process. Every time each set of pennies went in, I was anxious and I wanted to just go to the bathroom and hide <laughs> because I knew it was I knew it wasn't going to get the max because we just used circles and Aiden's had max first and they did something different so I thought, oh well that's just the way to go, right? We put in we put in pennies to see how strong the <coughs> wing is and then we put in all the pennies so then we, I guess one, I don't know. Now we're just working on a, be a better design, I guess. I'm mostly doing this just to get kids excited about engineering because frankly, there's a shortage of engineers and, and workers in the aerospace industry. So it's to show kids what opportunities there are out there so they can tailor their learning path to, to do that if they're interested in that sort of thing. At first, they're a little, little hesitant, kind of wondering what to do, but then once they start understanding, well, what am I trying to solve for, they get it. And they're like, okay, I'm gonna go back and make this now. And they try it, and it works, or it doesn't work, and then they learn more, and then they go back and try again. So I think that's a cool thing, is getting those little bits of success mixed with some failures so they can constructively learn how to do things. It's a good um, change from just the regular day-to-day -day stuff. Our district's really focused on projects, um, so it's a good chance for the kids to work together. I've seen students that don't like working in groups. They are now more vocal, they work together well. It's been exciting for them to learn to work differently. 